Hello gorgeous soul, welcome to your weekly astrology. This week it's all kicking off as we have Uranus, the planet of the unpredictable, finally shifting signs for the next seven years. So there are shocks, there are changes, there are all sorts going on this week and Mercury is retrograde. Here's your weekly astrology. <music> week offers you an opportunity well it's not just this week the next seven years offers you a big opportunity and you must look out for all sorts of connections this week that are going to be really important for your future but let's start at the beginning and in the beginning we have mercury the dastardly planet of communication going retro retrograde well actually not really dastardly because good old mercury likes us to pay attention and to know what's going on and to go back to the past and finish conversation, thoughts, philosophies that we've had that we're not carrying forward. It may be that you bump into someone from the past and in your case, it may be someone from a different culture. It may be you go into a different state, a different country, a different place where everybody's very different to you and you're fascinated by it and, and you're loving it. And that energy is all around you, not only this week, but this month. But Mercury may be slightly messing with your mojo when it comes to travel plans, technology, uh, other people miscommunicating, misunderstanding you. And you're very sensitive. You don't like it when that happens. So just be on your guard. Uh, you know, not be closed down, but just triple check everything, particularly travel plans. Now Uranus, the planet of the unpredictable is shaking you up for the next seven years in this seven year cycle in that area actually to do with connections as i was talking about earlier so it's about your soul family it's about who you collaborate with it's about who you mix with it's about your internet web presence it's about social media but it's far deeper than that we're talking about the a really massive change in the direction of your life which will be facilitated by who you mix with who you network with who you collaborate with and you're likely to come across a group of people, uh, something online, something that inspires you and surprises you and shocks you and gives you new information that you never had before. I can't tell you which way it's going to go down, but certainly it's going to be interesting. And you're finding yourself, you're finding your soul friends, you're finding your soul gang you're mixing in a way that it is kind of makes you feel part of something. And you should get a sniff of that this week, a little whiff of that this week. Uh, it, all this energy sort of came and went at the tail end of last year. So think about it. What do you think it is? Whatever you think, there's more to come and it's going to surprise you. Now, the new moon is all about your sense of journeying and sense of adventure and a sense of expanding and exploring your bound boundaries and opening up to things. Opening, opening up to different cultures, opening up to exploring and traveling, but not just that, going on a journey in your mind to learn, to, to feast on knowledge uh, and to grow. And you're likely to meet some unusual characters. You're changing. A new moon is all about a new beginning, letting go of the past. Some people may completely relocate or feel like completely moving to a whole different place, but certainly your ideas are, are radically transforming. Let's have a little look what the tarot has to say. If you're not into the tarot, switch off now. I have got a whole full detailed monthly March horoscope for you, which is just astrology. Go and check that out. For the rest of you, let's have a look. See what tarot has in store for you. Okay, cancer, cancer, cancer. Cancer, cancer, cancer. Cancer, first card. Yeah, you're having a rebirth. This is you when you believed in life and creativity and softness and openness and joy and you had a fascination with life. You are having a rebirth. You're, you're, it's like you're having a very artistic view and you're, you're seeing the world as the beautiful place it is. A fascination with life again. And do you know what? I love the tarot. I don't care what anyone says. Look at that. That's the travel card. You know, that's exactly what your astrology is for this week and you know, this month actually. So yeah, there's a journey coming, maybe an intellectual journey, maybe an emotional journey. 
probably a physical journey, but you're ready for it. You're ready to travel in some way. Don't cut yourself off. Don't cut off opportunities. This is the Queen of Swords, someone who's detached from their emotions. So this is you or someone you're dealing with that kind of can stop your flow. You know, be too cynical, be too critical, be too harsh. You don't like harsh. You're very sensitive. If there's anyone, a sort of stronger, older woman around you or someone who identifies as a woman, sometimes even, uh, but they're harsh with their emotions, it's difficult. But you're riding away. You're moving on from that energy. Perhaps that was a side of your nature to cut off and be too harsh or to be cynical. You're moving on. There's a sudden burst of energy. And what I always say about the chariot, there are no reins. It's your ideas that are creating your journey. You know, it's your ideas and your belief system. So make sure that you, you believe in yourself. You believe in your destiny. You believe that you can create your dreams and that you can make this fabulous, beautiful, intense, deep soul and mind of yours lead you forward on your journey. Last card. Yeah! High Priestess, when you are within your power, which you can be this week, and you trust your intuition, and you use your intuition, and you trust all the knowledge that's behind those pillars, anything is possible for you. You are the High Priestess this week. Use that magic. Use your knowledge. Trust your instincts. Take care. I send you so much love. Do visit me on Instagram at Michelle Knight or on my Facebook group. Links below or horoscope.co.uk. Lots of love to you.